Hi, I'm Ryan Payne with Garage Grooves, and today I have a tech tip for you on using an amp clamp to measure parasitic battery drain. Let's go over to the vehicle and take a look. All right, so we're over here at our Bronco, and again, we get a little quick tech tip here on using an amp clamp. Um, this is one I, I got somewhat recently here. Uh, got it off of Amazon after getting some recommendations um, some, from some uh, fellow diagnostic uh, aficionados. Um, and one thing I'll tell you I like about it, I've been using it, it has been, it is proven to me, it's pretty accurate. Um, the other thing is I like the size of the opening here. Uh, remember when you're using this clamp, the jaws have to be completely closed. Um, so one of the problems is if you talk about an automotive low amp clamp, a lot of times the jaws are too small when we're talking about battery cables. Um, on the other hand, if we go to a high amp clamp, sometimes when we're talking a small amount uh, of current flow, which is what we're usually looking at with a parasitic drain, the jaws are so big um, that you'll actually, it may not be quite so accurate. Um, and we're talking about some, some pretty small numbers there and small amount of range. Uh, it can also, you can see the, uh, the current numbers kind of wander a little bit. Um, so I, I really like the size of this. Now I will tell you, I ran into a problem on the Bronco here, just simply because it's got two ground cables that come off this connector here with the battery sensor. Uh, one of them I can get around, no problem. The other side is just too big and kind of how it's routed and it's very tight. I just can't get around it. Um, but the nice thing is on this Ford, I've got all these terminals on this side so I get access to all of the power feeds out into this vehicle uh, right here. Um, so we kind of pay a attention to the side. We notice, you know, kind of back here in the back, you see where I've got several connectors here for, for cables that come off of it uh, that are in a factory loom, but also, you know, suspicious already. I got a couple here um, that are obviously aftermarket um, and this vehicle is loaded up with aftermarket uh, components. So. We're not gonna go there first, not gonna condemn them quite yet. We'll check on the uh, OE side first. So let me get my light turned on and I'll go around my first cable there and make sure that we're completely seated. And there you go, we're you know, nothing. Basically on that first wire, I got no current draw. I'm gonna jump over to the next one and I'm showing no current draw there either. And those are the two that I can get access to, I'm gonna come over here. Obviously this aftermarket piece here and get my light to come back on one more time. And I'm showing about, that's kind of upside down for you. So you gotta get that way. So about five, six milliamps there. So obviously even though there is something there, it's still within um, acceptable range since we don't have any on the other cables. So let's go to the last one here. Make sure this thing settles back out and goes back to zero and get our light back on and go to our last one here and hope that's where we see it. And there you go. Um, there's our 200 and almost 300 milliamp draw here, which is way over the spec. You know, this thing has been sitting. Uh, we test drove it, uh, brought it in, checked the battery. It did need some charge, let it charge. So the battery is good to go um, and have it locked up uh, per Ford service information. Um, so at this point, uh, the spec being 90 minutes, uh, it's somewhere between 25 and 50 milliamps, you know, we're at 300. So um, this is well above the spec. Obviously at this point, you know, we know it's this aftermarket circuit here. Um, it just made it really easy to, to check with this meter. Um, obviously I gotta do some checking here to find out where, what that actually feeds. Uh, but again, this tech tip just to show you how convenient and easy it is to use an amp clamp um, to test for parasitic drains. So I'm Ryan Payne with Garage Grooves. Do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. And for more tech tips like this, make sure you hit subscribe. Thank you.